Hello, today we're going to show you the optimal way of installing our Outlook Integrator plugin by Design R1 software. As you can see, we are currently on our the Design R1 downloads page. If you're looking for any of our add-ins, you can always find them here at designr1.com forward slash downloads. And uh, so we'll go ahead and get those downloaded. And if you're looking for old versions or anything else, that's always where you can find them as well. So let's go ahead and scroll down to where they are. And as you can see, there is a service setup and a regular OIR1 setup. You want to make sure you have the o you grab the OIR1 setup instead of the service setup. And let's go ahead and put it into the right folder. So I'm going to grab both the exe and the MSI files just because with the uh, with uh, Windows 8.1 and Windows 10, we're having more and more issues of not having the correct permissions or having high enough permissions to allow the installation of our plugins. And we'll go ahead and right click down here and we're going to show in folder just so that it's a quick jump to where we downloaded them to. And then also a uh, good first step is for any of our add-ins, right click and then left click on properties and as you can see this is the properties under the general tab since we downloaded this from the internet uh, using Chrome it for whatever reason likes to block it so we'll just hit unblock and that does allow some extra stuff and we want to do that follow those same steps on both the MSI and the EXE now that that's done we'll just go ahead up here and right click the EXE and we'll tell it to run as administrator that allows us to run the basically what it's doing is allowing the MSI to be ran as administrator so we don't have any of those permissions issues arise when we're trying to install the software click next it's gonna it default it to this file folder if you want to put it somewhere else you can we'll just click through next watch the progress bars as it goes through once that's done if this is the first time you've installed it on your machine it'll come up and ask you or it'll it'll come up with a dialog box you know identifying the last opened or the last accessed uh, most recently accessed database and ask you if you want to click to that I always select no I like to do it manually um, I've only had that work on unfortunately a few times but I, I so I like to do it manually and that'll be in, an, in our initial setup video which I am planning on doing and having up at the end of this week as well or doing it soon also so click close and OIR1 is now installed. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at designr one LLC and also like our Facebook page at designr one software. Thank you. Bye.